Hi everyone. So today we'll see how to create a pipeline project in Jenkins. So, so far we have seen like a, how to create a freestyle project and Maven project, right? And we were running our, our, our Maven project, uh, pointing our GitHub repository to execute our build, right? So similarly, we can create a pipeline project in Jenkins, uh, where we have two types of pipeline project we can set up in Jenkins. One is uh, declarative and one more is scripted pipeline. Okay, so in this video, we'll, we'll see about the scripted pipeline. So how effectively we can use our script to execute our build in the Jenkins, okay? So what is the difference between the like a declarative and scripted is? So the declarative is very uh, recent one that I mean Jenkins has introduced where you can create one Jenkins file and you can keep it in your project workspace. So we have to do some configuration in uh, Jenkins. Uh, so the file will be automatically directed from your project workspace and it will execute our build. So the one more is scripted pipeline where we have to write some script in the pipe, I mean, uh, the Jenkins configuration itself. So when we when we go for our project workspace, we have some option to configure our scripts. So once we configure the scripts, then it will automatically execute our project. Okay, so by step by step, like a stage by stage. So for scripted pipeline syntax is, this is a syntax we have to use. It start from the node, uh, each stage you can configure like a, so first stage would be like uh, checking your, I mean, check out from your repository, right? So cloning your code from the repository. And second stage would be like uh, executing our build. And third stage would be like uh, generating or some uh, publishing some HTML report. Or fourth, fourth stage like it would be like uh, sending out to email or something like that. We can we can go by stage by stage, and it will execute by I mean execute by stage by stage. Okay, so today we'll see the uh, scripted pipeline, the declarative pipeline. I will I will cover in my next video. Okay, so these are the basic difference. The so declarative in the sense like you have to maintain one Jenkins file to your project workspace, where scripted pipeline is doesn't require any Jenkins file. So we will I mean write the syntax in our Jenkins workspace itself. Okay, so we'll go to a Jenkins. Uh, we'll create one uh, new uh, project. So the project names like I will give name as a, a scripted pipeline. Okay. So scripted pipeline where we have to select the pipeline option. So, so far we have seen a freestyle project and Maven project. So this time we are selecting the pipeline one and we are clicking okay. So now the project uh, or space will create. Okay, so the workspace is created now. So here we don't want to do anything here. Uh, okay, you can directly scroll down. So this is a pipeline uh, configuration, right? So here you will find two options. So one is pipeline script where we have to write some script here. One is a uh, pipeline script from ACM. So this is one declarative uh, pipeline option, okay? So where we have to give one uh, Jenkins file into our project workspace, that file will be automatically directed here. Okay, so that will execute. Okay, so now in this video, we'll, we'll see the uh, pipeline script, okay? So in the pipeline script, what we have to do, uh, you can see, I mean, some examples here. So if you want to print like a hello world, right? So this is a syntax that we have to use. So this is for declarative mode. Uh, when we come to the scripted mode, right? So this is a syntax that we have to follow. So we start from the node. Within the node, we can you can keep a number of stages. Okay, so we'll see one by one. We'll start from the node here. Okay, so within the node, we have a stages, right? So stage. So stage one, uh, one like uh, I could see, uh, I could say as uh, like uh, checking the Merwin version, right? Before I execute, I want to check my Maven version. What is the version that I have in my local? Okay, so for checking the Maven version, what we have to do? We have to pass the MBN hyphen version, right? So this is a command to check my Maven version. So this is my Maven version 3.6.3. I will, I will, I have to, I mean, pass that Maven command here. So for passing this, you cannot simply pass like a Maven hyphen V because this is written in the Groovy, I mean, supported by the Groovy scripting language. Okay, so for this one, you have to click on this pipeline syntax where it will take you to the code generator. It's a kind of a snippet generator where you have to select the particular uh, options here. Then you can you can go for a click generate pipeline script. Okay, so for this case, uh, we have to go for a Windows patch file, right? So Windows patch script we have to select. So here we will give maven hyphen b. After this, you just click on this generate pipeline. So you will be getting something, uh, uh, some line like this. Okay, so I will simply copy this. So what this means like a bad label. So script is maven hyphen b. Okay, this is, I mean, supported by the groovy one. I mean, this is a groovy language that support by the pipeline syntax. Okay, so when we, when we paste this one, what happens? So it will execute and it will execute this command and it will give you the maven version. Okay, so what is our next stage would be like, uh, we have to uh, pull the code from our GitHub repository, right? 
So again, come back to this uh, snippet generator. So here you have to select the Git option. Okay. So in the Git, it will ask you the repository details. So I will simply go to my repository. I will pick some project. I will I will pass my URL here. Okay. So here is my repository. I will take this repository. Okay. So I will copy the code. I mean, I will copy the URL. I will come back here. I will paste this. So by default, it is, I mean, uh, locating in the master branch. Okay. And I will add this credential. So how to add this credential? We have, I mean, uh, seen some, I mean, I mean, I have uploaded some video how to integrate it, uh, our Jenkins, I mean, GitHub credential to Jenkins. Okay. So in my previous video, I have covered this one. So once you've done this one, you just click on the generate pipeline script that will give you some script. You just copy this one, come here, I mean, come here like this. So you have to open the curly braces, place this one. Okay. So here, what we are doing, we are, we are doing the repo uh, cloning, right? So I can simply say like a repo cloning, right? Okay. So we are doing the repo cloning here. So what, what is the next stage we have to, we have to execute our build. So here I will say like a build it. I mean, I'm, I'm executing my build here. So how do we execute like every uh, Maven command, right? So by using the Windows uh, batch script, right? So again, I will select the Windows batch script. So here we have to pass Maven clean test or Maven clean verify. Any any executing Maven command, you can pass it here. Okay, so in this case, I'm just passing this Maven clean test and I'm clicking on this generate pipeline. So I will be getting this one. I will come here, I will paste this one. Okay, so now I will simply save this uh, project and I will go back to the uh, workspace and I can start the build now option now. So now you can see this flow, I mean, this workspace doesn't have any stage view as soon as the build is started. So we will be getting all the stages, right? The stages is what we defined in the configuration coding. So here we have defined like a, so our first stage would be like the checking the Maven version, right? So second stage would be repo cloning. Third stage would be build, right? So we'll see this one. So as soon as I click on the build now option, you can, you can see here, the stage will be, uh, I mean, you can see the stage view one by one. Okay. So now our build is started. Okay. Yeah. So here you can see the first, first step, right? So first step, we are checking the Maven version. The second step we are check, I mean, doing the repo cloning after that we are executing the build. So when you mouse over here, you can see the logs. Okay. So first log would be like a Maven hyphen V. So that is giving some, I mean, Maven version that I have in my local. Right. So after that, what we are doing, we are doing the cloning repo, right? So here the repo, I mean, cloning is started, right? So here the, I mean, by using the credentials and everything, my repo is cloned successfully. After this, you can see here, I mean, our script would have started here, right? So Maven clean test command is passed and our test is started now. Wait for some time. Now we can see the, uh, I mean, it's, it's downloading all the artifacts. Again, we can go to the clocks. Yeah, here you can see my test is started now. Okay, so we'll wait for some time to, I mean, to get this build executed. And you can see the same thing in by going to this console page also. Console also will be same, like it started by the user admin because we manually triggered, right? So how to trigger automatically uh, and build periodically and all we have seen in our previous video, right? So this is one I, I have started manually. So that's the reason it's coming as my username as admin. Okay, so now the script is done. I mean, everything is executed. You can see build is success, right? So this is a way uh, we have to create a pipeline project. Now you can see everything is in green color, right? So everything is success, right? All the three stages are success. Now, if you want to additionally add some stages, right? So we can go to again configuration. So now we'll, uh, this is Cucumber project. Okay, so now what will I will do? I will uh, add one more stage, like uh, generating some Cucumber uh, HTML report or something like that. Okay, I will, okay, after this stage, I will add one more stage to uh, report generation. Okay, so I will simply name as a report. Okay, so here I have to pass the uh, report generation command, right? So for that one, I am using the Cucumber report. So here I will select the Cucumber report option. Okay, so Cucumber reports, just click on the generate pipeline script. It will give you the script. You just copy the script and I have to place under the, the last stage. I mean the report stage, right? I will simply apply and save. So now you can see, I mean, there are no Cucumber reports here. So as soon as I build this project, I mean, uh, if I, if I build now, uh, if I build now, so, I mean, we could see the uh, Cucumber report uh, placed here. 
I mean in the workspace. Okay, so I will build now. You can see one more build is started, right? So this is my last build, number one. This is a second build. It's just started, right? So you can see the, again the same steps, right? So this is a pipeline. I mean, we are running, executing stage by stage, right? So cloning also done. So now it will, I mean, it will, a script will be executed now here. Okay, so the maven clean test command is passed. So we'll wait for this, uh, I mean, the execution to be completed. After this, you can see one more uh, pipeline stage view will come by the name of report. Okay, after this, it will come. Okay, still the build is executing. Yeah, you can see the test has started. Okay, I will close this one. So after this done, so we could see one more box here by the name of report. We have added the report generation code, right? So in the script, we'll see now. Still the test is running. Yeah, so now you can see that after the test is done, you can see one more this report is generated, right? So in our previous build, build number one, there is a no report because this is, we recently added this one and we, we execute our build, right? So this is coming in the build two. So when you click on the logs, you can see, I mean, everything is success. So we'll go to the complete console and see our build is completely success or not. So here, so our build is executed after the report also success. So now we'll go back to our project workspace. So this is our project workspace. Here you can see the Cucumber report generator recently, right? So when you click on this, you can see the report here. So I have only one feature file given to the project. So this is, a, I mean, project name, uh, what is the build number, what's the date and time, everything is coming. So we, we could not see previous results because uh, we have only one execution history. So when you run multiple time, I mean, more than one time, you could see the previous results. Uh, this is our latest results. There are no steps. I mean, no failures and all, right? And the trends also will come when you exit more than one time. So these are the steps and everything, right? So this is similarly that we have already seen in our previous video. So this is how we have to build the scripted pipeline, okay? So you have to create one pipeline project where you can use the this, this scripted model, okay? The one more is uh, declarative pipeline where you may have to use the Jenkins file to our project workspace. I mean, uh, I mean, you have to uh, create one file in your project called Jenkins file where we have to give all these kind of uh, uh, steps, right? So this is for a uh, pipeline, uh, scripted pipeline to execute our pipeline project. Okay. So when you go for a SEM option, so here we have to give the, I mean, uh, Jenkins file that will automatically take from your GitHub. So this one is uh, called as a declarative pipeline. So far we have seen the scripted pipeline okay so we'll see a uh, declarative pipeline uh, i mean declarative pipeline in our next video okay so this is how we have to uh, we will uh, create a scripted pipeline okay so that's all about uh, creating the pipeline uh, scripted i mean pipeline project for uh, scripted pipeline mode okay so if you guys have any doubt or any question please uh, feel free to ask in comments okay thank you guys